Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be my November no buy slash low buy check-in. I did allow myself some Black Friday purchases so I'm going to go through those with you and also I spent some boots points because I had some boots points left over and I will go through those items with you as well. In terms of my no buy, I still haven't broken my no buy. I stuck within my budget of allowing myself two items on Black Friday and actually I didn't get one thing that I'd allow myself on Black Friday so I kind of I'm taking that as a win and I haven't spent anything any other time so I'm still doing good with my no buy I'm really really pleased with how far I've come and that I'm still able to keep myself in check and that I'm not only meeting my budget but also I didn't use up the full allowance that I had allowed myself for Black Friday anyway in case you don't remember my Black Friday allowance was two makeup items and one skincare item to the total sum of two £250 but I spent £85 on two items that I'm considering into the makeup section and I didn't get any skincare at all. The reason I'm saying I'm considering them in the makeup selection is because they're nail polishes and I don't know where they would go but I'm considering the makeup. I wouldn't have got makeup on top of this if I had wanted makeup on top of this. That makes sense. So I was under budget and I didn't buy my skincare allowance and I allowed myself unbudgeted some Waterman stuff, which I did get, so I will show you that as well. So in terms of the nail polishes that I got, I got two collections because I was allowed either one item or one collection being an item. So I went for two collections. I went for the OPI Advent Calendar for 2020 and the Cuccio Chocolate Brown collection thing that they've released recently. So I will show you the polishes. I did open the OPI Advent Calendar for two reasons. One, because David's sister also got the same calendar and she wanted to open it all together. And two, I bought bought it specifically for the nail polishes and to have something to buy on Black Friday that I was going to enjoy, not specifically to have an advent calendar. So I didn't feel it necessary to keep it as an advent calendar. I have advent calendars that I saved th throughout the year for this season. So I'm happy to have just opened every single window and considered it like not an advent calendar at all and just a nice gift of 25 mini nail polishes. So I am not gonna do a formal unboxing. I can just show you the polishes. I did write down the names, but as this isn't a formal unboxing, I would find it more appropriate if I just linked, say, one of my favorite YouTubers who has done an unboxing, and then you can watch their unboxing where they show you what comes in what window, what the name of the polish is, what the swatch looks like, all that kind of stuff, and actually do it justice rather than me try and do it and mess it up or tell you the wrong thing or something like that. So I will just show you what they look like, like I would normally, and then I'll link that down below. I'm not sure who I'll pick yet, but it will be somebody that I really enjoy watching, so. And that way I also get to support another YouTuber. So I'm just going in any random order that they, I have on my side. So the first one is this kind of taupey brown shade with like a silver shimmer running through it. The next one I know, and I can tell you confidently, is Linkin Park After Dark because it was the only black in the advent calendar. And this is just a black cream shade. The next one is a champagne shimmer. And the next one is a hot pink with a purple shimmer. The next one is a hot pink cream. And then we have a milky pink, which is kind of like a milky white pink compared to a different milky pink I'll show you in a second. We have a red cream. And we have a kind of burgundy cream. There is a purple with purple shimmer running through it. There is a mauve cream. There is a burgundy with silver shimmer running through it. There is a white cream and I believe this one is called Alpine Snow. There is a pinky purple polish with silver shimmer running through it. And there is a blue glitter. There is a pearly pink shimmer. It's kind of like a metallic shimmer, this one. And there is a grey taupe cream. There is another pearlescent kind of metallic pink, but this one it has a touch more red in it. It's kind of corally. There is a black glitter. 
And there was this milky pink that I told you about. This one I believe is called It's a Girl, which I feel is in one of their permanent collections. This one is a grey silver shimmer. This is a pearlescent white. There is a red with that metallic silver shimmer running through it. There is a metallic gold. There is a really rosy pink kind of cream shade. I'm not sure, it's like a dusky pink, that's what I meant to say. And the last one is a ready pink with that metallic running through it again. And those are the polishes that were from OPI that came in the calendar. And now I'll go through the ones that I got from Couture that were part of that brown chocolate collection thing. So there were eight polishes in that collection. And the first one that I have here is Brownie Points. This one is O oh Fudge. The next one is Hot Chocolate Cold Days. This one is See You Latte. This one is Caramel Kisses. Actually, that's a beautiful caramel. That's the perfect name for that. This one is Semi Sweet On You. This one is S'more Please. And the last one is called Getting Into Truffle. So in this Cuccio collection, there are two kind of metallic shimmer shades. They are Getting Into Truffle and Brownie Points. These ones are the most exciting, but I love every single shade that's in this collection. They're all brown, but they're all different and they're all beautiful. So there's two shimmers, what I would call kind of halfway between a jelly and a cream. But there's two of those and it's the two darker ones, Oh Fudge and Small Please, which makes them look really unctuous on the nails and there's four like pure creams and these are the lighter kind of latte kind of shade browns these ones so really happy with that collection i did also buy it for erin so she has that to look forward to and neither of us needed any more nail polishes in our collection but that's what i wanted to spend my black friday allowance to myself on that's all i wanted so that was what i got that was what i spent my money on i then placed a boots order which they also had some black friday deals going which meant that i could place a boots order of uh, 20 pounds or more spend my points but also so then get 40 pounds worth of makeup from them for free. So I spent, I think around 30 pounds worth of points. I had a lot of points built up basically. So I spent basically all of my points. It came to about 30 pounds. I didn't spend any money, not even on the postage that also came out of my points. And I got the 40 pounds gift box thingy that they were doing. So again, because all I wanted really was nail polishes, I did get three nail polishes from my 30 pound purchase and two of them are Essie and one of them is Rimmel. The Rimmel one is in a wild spice. I wanted this to be a bit more pumpkin-y but it is actually just a straight up bright orange which I'm not complaining about because I do enjoy a bright orange on my nails especially in the summer but I will not be wearing this as a spicy shade. So that's that one and the two Essie I have one from the regular line but I don't know if this is I think from the summer collection it's called a go overboard so whichever collection that was released in and it is this really beautiful dark teal shade and the last polish is from the expressi line and this is called friend and no sorry trend and snap and it is kind of like this movie pink or like a dusky pink with silver glitter in it so those are the polishes that I bought and I also bought a highlighter to make up the value to the £30. And this is the Revolution XX Revolution highlighter in the shade Echo and it just comes like this and that is what that one looks like. So it's kind of like this really light champagne shade which is perfect for my skin tone and that is what that looks like. You see it's kind of it's not white it's champagne but it's so light that it will suit me because I'm pale as a ghost. A lot of champagne shades are too dark for me so it's like the perfect kind of champagne for me. So that is also what I wanted to get because I want I've 
wanted to try these highlighters, but because I was on a no buy, I didn't buy any. So when I saw that I could get them with points and like make up the money, I was like, yes, let me get one of these. So I got one of those. And then the thing that they gave me for free then was, I think these things, I don't think there's anything that I'm missing. I'm pretty sure it was just these things. Uh, but I have a Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. And I have this Matte Me Metallic Metallic Lip Cream from Sleek. This is in Electroplated Nude. And this is kind of like a bronze shade, I guess. I'm not the biggest fan of metallic lip paints like this, but I will give it a go. We'll see what happens. Um, but that is that one. It looks kind of patchy on my hand, but my hands are super dry. So don't trust any of these swatches on my hands. I will have to actually try that out. I have the Rimmel 8 Hour Lasting Finish Makeup Primer. And I have a Revlon Hyper Matte Matte Lip Mousse. This one is in the shade, doesn't actually say, Sunset. And that basically has the same texture of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. So that is what that one looks like. That would be perfect in summer. That's beautiful. So those are the full size products. They also sent a Soap and Glory bath bomb, which I'm looking forward to trying and some sachet samples. So the sachets they gave me were the Revitalift Laser Renew SPF 20, the Revitalift Red Cream, and two of the Revitalift Anti-Wrinkle Eye Creams, two of those. And the last item was a hair product, also L'Oreal. This is the L'Oreal LV Dream Length No Haircut Cream, which I have used and quite enjoyed this product. So really happy overall to get all of those items for free. I wouldn't say, are they worth 40 pounds? I wouldn't spend 40 pounds on these few items I would just look at my basket and go what am I actually ordering for 40 pounds but in terms of like free stuff yeah it was worth placing a points order that and not spending any money to get like 70 pounds worth of stuff that I didn't have to spend any money on so I'm happy with that let me know if you actually got one of these because when I tried to do the order I had some issues with their website which tells me that a lot of people were trying to do it so just let me know if you managed to get one or not what your thoughts were did you get anything different to me let me just show you the Waterman's products that I got and then we can finish up this video. So the best thing to do with Waterman's on Black Friday is to order their collections because it's the best value for money. So I ordered two collections. The first collection was a Grow Me Shampoo, the Grow More ser uh, Scalp Serum and the new mask, the Mask Me Mask, which I've not tried yet. So looking forward to trying this. I've also not tried the serum before, the Elixir. So these are two new products to me. So I'm looking forward to seeing Seeing what these do for my hair condition. The shampoo, as you well know, I go through all the time. And then I thought, well, I'm gonna need more than just one shampoo. So they also have like multi-packs. So I got a multi-pack of the shampoo, which came with two shampoos. Um, and then they said something like in my basket, like, oh, you qualify for a free thing if you, and I was like, no, I don't really wanna claim it because I'm not gonna use it. But they sent it anyway, and it is the Waterman's Clean Me Hand antibacterial gel thing. It kind of doesn't smell of anything. It, if anything, it smells kind of eucalyptus-y, but I like the ones that smell fancy and smell like, make my house smell like cake and stuff. So I will pass this on to my parents because they like the plain ones and this is basically just gold dust right now. So I will pass this on to them and they will get use out of it and they will be able to protect themselves from the horrid disease that is COVID. And that is literally everything that I acquired or bought in the month of November. This feels like the longest one of these updates I've done in a while because I didn't really acquire anything. I mean, I acquired stuff, but not as much as I have done in the month of November. And I'm really, really proud of being able to stick within my budget and not only stick within my budget, actually do less than the thing that I budgeted for. So let me know how you got on with the month of November. Let me know if you need a buddy. I'm happy to be your buddy. And I'm happy to do check-ins with you. And we can like message each other on Facebook or Instagram and just encourage each other to not spend money or I can pass on some tips for you anything like that please do let me know thanks so much for watching this video take care and I'll see you very soon bye